Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sharon. So yeah guys, welcome, welcome. <laughs> so this is actually my first sit down video. <laughs> it feels somehow. So yeah guys, so in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys my sharing experience. Yeah, one thing about me guys, I like buying online. So I've noticed that a lot of people like they don't like buying online, you know, they have their reasons and some they just feel good here. It's not it's not like a safe space for using like your card, you know. So I'm here to make sure that you know and you understand good it is a safe space and what is it that you need to do to make sure that your money is safe. So, but first, guys, you know, I've been buying from Shein. I've been buying online, right? For, well, from like, I've been buying. And this time, it was a little bit different. And in all of this, I don't blame Shein. I blame Buffalo Logistics, right? Because they're the ones who, I don't know, maybe they don't manage, you know, how their drivers work and if they're doing the right things or not. So, so, vent. so what had happened is I placed my order on the 26th, right? 26th of July. 28th of July, I received uh, an, an, a, a message for me to pay my customs, right? And my customs were 135. So I got that from Buffalo. I paid my customs, right? On the 31st, my order arrived here in South Africa, right? And then Buffalo sent me an SMS on Thursday the 4th saying that my order, I will receive my order within two days, which is 48 hours. Cool. Guys, I waited, ne? nothing, no communication, no nothing. So I'm thinking, it's okay, since they didn't deliver Thursday, Friday, it means I'll definitely get it on Saturday. And I was not I was not home. So I had to tell my neighbor to, can you please, I'm expecting an order, so can you please sign on my behalf? And like the driver, they always call, the driver will call me, and I will tell him to give it to you, right? Guys, I was not at home now. I was in KZN. 12 p.m. I get a notification in my app saying that my order has been received and I've signed for it. Jan, I call my neighbor. Do you have my order with you? She's like, no, I don't have your order. But then I get it, you said the driver will call. I'm like, yes, but the driver hasn't called. And they're saying the order has been signed for, you know? That's no, it's not possible, Sharon. I'm like, hey, I wonder what's happening. So I'm there thinking, what is it that can I do? I go on my Shein app. They have like a support group where you can just lay your complaints. I write to them to say, my order is sure received, but I don't have it. Even my neighbors don't. They send me that, um, that like a, sna a, sna a snapshot showing that my order has been signed for. And then Buffalo has confirmed. Can I please contact Buffalo? So they send me the Buffalo number and WhatsApp. Guys, do you know how useless Buffalo WhatsApp and email is those people they don't respond about such as something which but it's going to take like forever you know so that's one plus one is too much you know what on monday i'll go to buffalo once monday i went to buffalo when i got there i asked okay i haven't received my order but then the app is saying that i have and she in has confirmed that i have so now i want to understand what happened and the driver never called me Hi, hey, well, are you sure? She's saying it. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, let's try to call the driver. Because I'm a phone driver, nothing. The driver's not picking up. I'm like, okay, no, that's fine. Can you give me the his number? And now I want to know the process. Would, if I didn't, like, if the items are not even with him, maybe he he delivered my items in a wrong house or what? What's going to happen? I say, no, don't worry, we'll make sure we fix that. I'm like, okay, cool. I called the driver. Guys, he even knows my name. Hi, Sharon. No, Sissy. He ordered a Christmas 
Hey, Charitini, what do you mean? No, you know what we normally do is um, if they, there's no one in the house where we're delivering, we just make sure we see if the yard is safe, we just throw the order inside the yard. Ask kiss. Zhuang. Ah! Zhuang! Zhuang! Guys, a whole 1.5. <laughs> a whole 1.5. You just throw it in the head. What if it was raining? Because that, it means that my order was outside for two nights. So if it was raining, like, you don't think it was going to be damaged. So what is this guy saying? Is that even allowed? Yo, guys, I've never been so pissed in my life. I'm still pissed, actually. So I please go check. If there's nothing, then it means someone took your orders. And I'm like, so if someone took my orders, then what's going to happen? No, we'll make sure we fix it. I'm like, hey, but who? Which one is this one? Yo, guys, I was so shocked. So I think it's just because I've seen people complaining, even on Facebook, about Buffalo Logistics. So I think it's about time she didn't stop using buffalo logistics because wow their service their service guys oh it's not ayoba so okay no i think guys let me just stop <laughs> talking about buffalo but i wanted to share that with you guys just in case if you guys find yourself in the same situation what is it that you need to do so yeah i did that and then i got my order my order is head home it's safe and all my clothes are clean <laughs> So yeah guys, so now let's get to the fun stuff, right? So I'm going to share with you guys with how much was my order, if I did get any discount, and how much did I pay for for customs, and also I'm going to to just tell you my expense on how did I make sure that I buy clothes that fit me. Yeah, all of that. So yeah guys, so my order, total order was 1000 I have my notes here so because you know I don't want to rumble so my total order was 1.716 and then I got a discount of 15% which was 256 and then I ended up paying 1.477 right and for customs I paid for customs I paid 135 it's not a lot right so guys my like one thing I've learned which she in right you always have to buy items below 1.5 right if your items are below 1.5 you won't pay more than 200 for customs like i've never even paid okay i have because my first order was actually two point something then we paid 600 i think but that seemed because i didn't have any ex experience i didn't know what to do we just ordered you know and then in our heads we thought to see it was going to be cheap for customs but guys doesn't make sense good team you can buy like items all the way from china and then now you have to pay like my order with 2.5 and then you pay customs of 800 or a thousand and that's a lot of money so you always have to make sure that you save so for you to save you need to buy items below 1.5 you will see if you buy items below 1.5 you will pay even less than 150 like it's like that for me it has been like that so ever since i started doing that it works and if you want to buy more rather split your orders to two orders maybe if you want to, you want to buy for three thousand split to two and then you will see you will pay like three something for both orders or not even three something maybe 250 125 125 for both orders right so that helped for me and i've been using that and then when it comes to using my card online name what i do is i've heard some people saying that you can use paypal i just opened my paypal account and the nice thing about using paypal is that if anything happens to your order they will refund you your money like they they don't even ask questions they'll just they'll just refund you your money and then Mina, I've like always I've been using in KP Tech a visual account, right? And what guys I do just to make sure that I'm safe, you know, just to make sure that I'm safe. I am safe 
what I will do is I will buy right I always like go to my app to increase the um, the limit because my limit is always zero when it comes to the online purchase right it's always zero so I'll always go increase the limit sorry guys my battery died <laughs> so immediately after paying I go back I change my limit again back to zero guys that works you know even if maybe scammers don't want to do something to your cut you don't work because your limit it's zero so always guys do that and i do advise you to open a paypal account because you will get full refund in case something happens to your order shop so guys now i'm going to i'm going to talk about what is it that you need to do to make sure that you buy clothes that fits you right so guys when you buy on Shein, right, you will notice that when you choose one X, right, below they will show you like measurements, your bust, your waist, your hip, all of that. So what I did, so yeah, guys, oh, I, uh, my phone is just giving me issues. So guys, yeah, when like when, when you want to buy me, you will notice that when you choose one X, it will show you like sizes, right, which is your bust and all of that fun stuff. So what you need to do, you need to get yourself measured right you can measure yourself or you can ask someone to measure you so guys when you measure yourself you will buy clothes that fits you and another thing that you need to do you need to read the reviews because guys you need to understand the good materials are not the same you know our fine our material so for you to buy something that fits you you need to read the reviews so that you know whatever you're buying is it stretchy or not do you need to size up or down you know all of that so you need to read the reviews then you'll be good you will buy things that fit you imagine buying clothes all the way from china and then they get hit they don't even fit you and then man just was the table now you have to go through the process of retaining or you need to sell the items you know it's just a lot of admin so please get yourself measured going to get yourself measured measured you will notice what I bought everything that I'm buying, Zilla, you know, because me now I'm very happy with my orders. And guys, the reason I like buying online, it's simply from Shein actually, to be specific. It's simply because, you know, guys, when like you're a woman like me, you have like an extra meat. It's hard buying this side, simply because, guys, in Pakistan, I Zil. You know, when you go shopping, I hardly get things that I like, clothes that I like. And you always have to be in and out to my fitting room. I hate doing that. So with Shein, girl, it comes all the way from China. But when it gets here, it fits me perfectly and nicely. You'd actually think that you know, can't you know I didn't even fit. But because their measurements, their sizes are accurate, if you did get yourself measured, then you will see. Within she is the girl that she thinks she is, you know. So yeah, guys, I'm going to. I don't think I did leave anything, and yeah, my orders came earlier than I expected because the um, estimated date was actually the fifteenth of August, March fifteen six. So I think that's it, guys. I don't think I did leave anything. So yeah, guys, please don't forget to like, comment subscribe and share my videos guys and if you try to use the tips that i gave you just now please come back and tell me to show on your tips worked you know and if you like this kind of content please subscribe like comment and share i love you guys thank you for watching see you in the next one bye